Hi there, Nancy from the Yarny Bookkeeper here with quick tips for your handmade business. Today I'd like to talk to you about WAVE accounting and entering credit card charges, reconciling, and then paying your credit card balance. So the first thing we want to do is we want to come into WAVE and we want to come to accounting and transactions and then we want to change this to our business credit card okay so first thing we're going to do is we're going to notice i have a one dollar credit okay on my business credit card yeah i i, I owed 27 dollars i thought it i was tired I, wrote, I paid 28 so I have a dollar credit on my credit card. So the first thing we want to do is we want to enter our credit card charges. Now, I'm going to enter old credit card charges. These are actual charges on my credit card. And then I will show you how to um, reconcile them. All right. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to add our expenses. Because when we pay with a credit card, it's literally like writing a check out of our checking account. Okay. Except we're putting it on the credit card and we're going to owe the credit card company money later on. So these are actual charges. So the first one was December the 21st. And it was five dollars and fifty cents, and it was I made the payment to Jen Hayes Creations. I bought the most adorable gnome pattern for her from her. Um, it, it's it's for a, a, a nutcracker, but anyway. So now I am going to go and I'm going to find my pattern per, patterns purchased account. All right. So, and I'm going to write a note. This, this was for a nut cracker gnome pattern. I'm going to mark it as reviewed. And I'm going to save it. Okay, so there's my transaction. I got $4.50 for a balance. Now I'm going to add another expense. And this happened on 12.27. And it was for... 99 oops 99 cents there we go and this was for iCloud storage And that's a software. Okay, it's a monthly subscription. And this is for additional Okay. And then I'm going to save it. So now you can see I've got $5.49 for a balance. I'm going to add another expense. And that was on $12.28. And the amount was $62.10. And I paid this money to AppSumo. 
And this was literally what I paid to purchase um, the Heartbeat Community software. All right. And it was a one-time fee. Um, I, I got it. I got it on a real deal. Okay. So now you can see I got sixty-seven fifty-nine for a balance. And now I'm going to add a couple more transactions. So. This one was on 131, and it was 69.99. This was for my yearly subscription to Evernote. I would be absolutely lost without the Evernote. And now I'm going to add one more. This is a recent one. I just made this one this week. So on 2.9, I charged 58.45. Whoops. And I paid this money to Spotlight Shopper. Now, what I bought was a new, it, it, it's a stand that will hold my phone so I can shoot videos. And it's, it looks really awesome. I, I hope that, um, it, I like it as well as it looks. So I'm going to put that off to office supplies. And this is for a, I, whoops, an iPhone stand for shooting videos. Okay, so now I've got a total of $196.03, okay, on my credit card. My credit card statement comes in, and the first thing I want to do is I want to reconcile that account. But first, I'll show you what my credit card statement looks like. Okay. So it, it, the payment due date is 212. My new balance is 6759 because I had that. One dollar overpayment. I really had sixty-eight fifty-nine in charges, but I have a dollar credit, so I owe sixty-seven fifty-nine. And the closing date is for all the charges that were made between twelve sixteen twenty-two and one fifteen twenty-three. Okay, so th these these are important numbers. And just because I, I can't rearrange everything like I normally would when I reconcile my account, I just took a minute to write down that number. Oops. So here I am in WAVE and I want to do a reconciliation. And I want to reconcile my business Mac. MasterCard, all right, and I want to reconcile new transactions, and the ending balance on one fifteen was sixty seven fifty nine, and I'm going to save that. So, Wave says it's all reconciled. Let's go see what happened. All right. Eesh. So, now we want to come back into transactions.
and I want to come to my business credit card. And it really doesn't look like anything happened, did it? But we've reconciled that account, okay? So now we want to pay that credit card, all right? So the credit card payment was due on 211. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add an income. I know that sounds crazy. Um, and I'm going to put it to the business MasterCard. Well, first I should say it still shows 19603 because that's really what I've charged on it. All right. So now I'm going to actually pay that credit card. So I'm going to pay <clears throat> 6759, okay? And And I'm going to transfer the money from my business checking over here to pay it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put in a little note that this payment was for the statement ending 115-2023, and I'm going to save it, and now I have a balance of 128.44, which should be the sixty nine ninety nine for Evernote and the fifty eight forty five for Spotlight Shopper. So that's kind of how it's done in Wave. Um, it, it, it it's really kind of Wave is a little clunky um, when it comes to reconciling and and paying down your credit card but when you all of those credit card transactions all of those transactions that show up on your credit card statement need to come in to your credit card account as expenses when you pay it you want to add the payment as income and a transfer um, from your checking account okay so that's pretty much all there is to it um, QuickBooks works a little differently it, it's a little more hands-on and it it, it it it's more visual um, it, and actually it makes more sense um, but anyway that, that's how you take care of entering credit card charges, reconciling your credit card account, and then finally paying your credit card bill. So thanks for watching. If you have questions, join my free Facebook group and start a conversation. Here's the link. And other than that, hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.